Josh Saturday Sessions. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Welcome, everybody. Let's go through the colors we have. First, we've taken our canvas, and we've put a little bit of our Bob Ross liquid white on there, right? A lot of people ask, what else can I use besides liquid white? I don't know. I've only ever used the name brand stuff. I don't know how to make my own. I'm sure there are videos out there that will show you how to make your own, but we don't know how to do it. So I use the normal things. We'll go through our colors today. Today we have some 19, uh, Gamblin 1980 red. Uh, we've got uh, Windsor Newton white, and then all the rest of the Bob Ross colors. Uh, Van Dyke brown, dark sienna, yellow ochre, cadmium yellow, phthalo green, which we probably won't use, phthalo blue, alizarin crimson, midnight black, and titanium white. Now, we've taken our canvas, like I said, put that Bob Ross liquid white on the canvas, just like that. Not a very, you know, very, very, very thin coat. And then you stretch it as far as you can. That way it doesn't get too crazy, right? Now, let's go. Let's go. We're going to do a crazy little, sun, gorgeous little sunset. So we're going to pull out our yellow, a little bit of our yellow ochre, just those two colors, just on the brush, like that. Bam, bam, bam. I'm going to grab our nice, expensive solo cup and maybe decide our sunset over here is going to go like that so we're going to take our brush come over here and go around the edge very simply done doesn't even need to be perfect all we want to do is have a little white circle in there when we get done and i find that the solo cup is a good size that if you just put a little bit of paint and blend it inwards you'll leave that tiny little white opening right there all right imagine a quarter Right in here is all we want to really save. But all this paint's going to want to grow. See, the more we pull it, the more it's going to want to grow in. So let's stretch it outwards first. Take it out. Get out of here. Go out. And then we'll come in, just like a clock. All the way around. Bringing it up. Right? And then you'll leave the center very white. Just like that. Mine's about the size of a 50 cent piece. Yours can be however big you want. Or however small you want. Take it, blend it out just like that. It's fantastic. So, <clears throat> if this is the first time you're watching a Paint with Josh video, tell us where you're watching from, what time it is, and what's your favorite sandwich. I always love to know. Mine is a spicy Italian. Babe, what's your favorite sandwich? Um, an American cheese and strawberry jelly sandwich. Cheese and jelly. And we actually had a fan uh, write back and go, uh, I tried the cheese and jelly sandwich. It wasn't for me. That's Which funny. is kind of funny. Let's see. Okay, let's go into our bright red. We need to get progressively darker as we go out. So a little bit of bright red, a little bit of our yellow ochre, just to change the color on the brush. And again, it's going to change up here as well. So it doesn't really matter what we do. Let's put a little bit over here, maybe over here. We'll just kind of create this little eyeball around the side, right? And you guys are like, this is, guy's like a four-year-old. Why am I watching him? Just trust the process. It gets better, I it promise. It gets better. Right? Leave a little bit of white area. It doesn't have to be super dark or anything like that. I like to teach you. You can just let it flow. Grab a little bit of our crimson. Right? We'll mark along the top real fast. Because if we don't do it now, it's hard to go back and do it later. So a little bit of that crimson-y color on there. But leave those white areas because the paint's going to want to grow down. Right? So remember, tell us where you're watching from. We'll do a really cool row call and see how many places around the world we can get to watch today. All three of these dark colors on the brush, right on top of all those other colors, right? And bring them in from the side. And the more you have of each color, the more it's going to show. So if you want to have a little bit more blue in some areas, maybe down here it's a little bluer, or you want a little bluer up in the top, just add some blue to it. But leave that white area, because again, it's going to want to grow down. Grow down. Take this color down here, drop it in straight across, just like that. Just gorgeous. Again, all three colors, doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be perfect. You want to have those differences. Differences in what, babe? Color. Color. Wah, 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 wah. So remember, at the end of the show today, before I forget, somebody remind me, we're going to be doing a drawing. Oh, and uh, we need don't to... I, don't I need to write names Yeah, down? we need to get some names going while we're running... Not remotely prepared. I, yeah, I, I know. We're, we're now, are we ever prepared? No, babe. Never. Never, ever prepared for the show. So... Uh, what we're doing is we're giving away a virtual class. So if you want to get your, you know, if you want a, a shot at winning a, per, a virtual class with me for about two hours, and we connect via Facebook call or, vi uh, you know, Zoom, video, you know, FaceTime, whatever we got to do to connect, we'll get together. Your screen will look just like this with the painting up close, and then I'll show you how to paint the painting, and I'll look at your painting, 
and I'll answer all the questions before we move forward. It's a whole lot of fun. Uh, I know Sam Root and I did a class that he really benefited from. He's doing some awesome stuff now. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. So if Sam's here on Facebook or YouTube, tell the guys how much fun it is, right? And just how much you learn from a two-hour class with Paint With Josh, right? If you want to get your tickets, go to paintwithjosh.com. It's the number one thing, right? When you open up paintwithjosh.com, they're $5 each. You can buy as many as you want. And we're going to do a raffle. The more you buy, the more a London... A waffle. A waffle. The more you buy, the more uh, London has to write out little names. So if you want to torture her, you'll have to buy a million of them, right? A million of them. That would be cool. That would be cool. So, at the end of the show, we're going to draw out of a hat. And, uh, yeah, the winner's going to win a free class. So, well, $5 class. Let's see. Now, we're going to take our big two-inch brush, just like that. Babe, do we have any anybody watching in the world? Yeah, babe. There's a ton of people watching in the Excellent. world. Excellent. Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, Let's do a roll call real quick. Do it. Okay. Cape Town, Michigan, Texas, Nebraska, Michigan, Nebraska, Pennsylvania, Indiana, Seattle, Chicago, Minnesota, uh, New Hampshire, uh, Montana. Um, hold on, let me switch platforms. Switching platforms. Uh, Indiana, Arkansas, Wales, Wales Ohio, awesome. Houston. Um, hold on, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Florida. Florida, hey! <laughs> That's a lot of places, guys. That's cool. I'm sure more and more and more are going to drop in. So as we... Ukraine, as we... Croatia, oh, Sasqu wow. Saskatchewan? Yeah, I can't say that. Uh, Dad's watching from England. Hey, the UK! We got Nebraska, France, California, Kansas, Croatia. Croatia. Um, Washington, Georgia, Germany. You guys are amazing. Man, you guys are awesome. Thank you. That's going to be a wicked cool roll call. Keep going with all the names as I start to blend the sky. Keep telling us where you're from. Keep telling us what your favorite sandwich is. And uh, eventually we'll get to all the comments, right? I try to get to as many as we can, but I can't get to all of them, guys. We have like 125,000 followers across all platforms now, which is just insanely amazing. So, we're going to take this two-inch brush. Got to do this for the TikToks because it's the most gorgeous little boomerang. I'm going to take that two-inch brush. Boom! Come knock the camera over right up here into the center of that white. Just very lightly. Just barely. Shh. Barely touching. Barely. Press those pills. Okay. <laughs> oh, Puerto Rico? Yeah. This is how we do it on the Puerto Rico. I don't know, I've been listening to Despacito a lot recently. That, that was atrocious. Atrocious? That was really bad, babe. Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. It was really bad. If you are currently, living, if you are currently living in a South American country <laughs> or Latin America by any means, please comment on how bad that come was. Come on, it was más o menos. It wasn't that bad. That was bad. That was bad. It wasn't that bad. That was bad. Ah. All right, so we'll come into this color. Whatever colors you have, right? You don't have to have the same exact colors that I have. And I'm going to start to blend these two pinks, kind of bringing some of the pink into the yellow in different areas so it's not just a perfect circle, right? Again, trying to leave that very bright area in the center there. Very bright. Right, can you guys see that? Or is it overexposed? Does it look good? Everybody looks good. All right. All the camera's looking good. And the more and more you crisscross, the more you're going to get rid of any little brush strokes, any little differences. Look, we're, we're kind of cut our, our little... Uh, circle that was there in half just by blending, right? Now, once you come out into your dark colors, you definitely don't want to go back into here. And all this dark color is going to want to come down and cover our little spot, so don't let it. And how do you not let it? With pressure, right? If I really want it to grow, I'm pushing real hard, trying to get it to grow down there, right? But if I don't want it to grow too far, just very lightly. Very lightly. Tater's in the house. Hey! For, any, for anyone new in the room, Josh is an oil painter. He paints the wet on wet technique as made famous by Bill Alexander and Bob Ross. Uh, please, please, please trust the process. Uh, it will not look like this when it's over. And uh, if you hang out with us, I promise you'll be in for a shock at how beautiful it looks when it's done. It's going to be a good one today. I can already tell you. Because we've done the scene many times and it keeps selling and therefore I'll keep painting it. <laughs> there we go. Now, it really doesn't matter what we do along the bottom, right? I'm going to smooth it out just for anybody who's like freaking out about the bottom being all crazy, right? But we're going we're gonna to go over this bottom so many times that it really doesn't matter what we do. 
right? Gorgeous. Maybe take some of that darker color just that we have down here. Just mix that up and then maybe pull it in from the top just to change the smallest little thing, right? Woo, it's fantastic. I love this one. Oh, the skies are different. Every time we put paint on the canvas, it's going to blend a little bit differently. The colors are going to go you know, in different orientations. It's just going to be awesome. That's the best part about art is the differences. All the differences. So, and just how beautiful everyone's looks. It's excellent. Look at some of that purple kind of blended down into here very lightly. Really cool. Now that we have all these different colors across our sky, we can have a lot of shadows and light areas to play with our clouds. Beat the devil out of the brush, right? Why does it kind of come out of the thing with more paint on it than I went in? Oh, I hit the side of the bucket, that's why. I really need to get to clean that bucket. Empty it out. Clean it off. Gorgeous. All right, let's put our little sun in there. And the way Bob Ross used to take his finger and put a little circle, and that's cool if you want to do that, but, you know, I get dirty enough that uh, I'll use my brush. So, I found a cool little way to do a sun. You grab a little bit of white paint just on one side of your filbert brush. Looks just like that. And we're going to have to use both hands, so we'll set the big old palette down, right? You can tell only one side has paint on it. That way you don't get too much paint, right? So we're going to go, bop, take that brush over here right into the dead center, and then spin it and rotate pushing it flat. Look at that. Watch the bristles spin and kind of go outwards. And the more you do it, about two rotations, you get a perfect circle. Just like that. Nice, bright, gorgeous little sun back there. Fantastic. Someone commented on my Facebook post the other day and they said, uh, they put fantastic. And then they put in like parentheses, you know, how Josh would say it. Like, oh, it's funny that I read it in the way that I would say it. That's funny. We need to get some more uh, cleaner out, guys. We're almost running out. And of course, I never start the show on time. So, uh, well, I do start it on time. We're just never ready. <laughs> Big difference. Right. And so just real quickly, I got to put some more of this in this cup. And I know you guys are like, oh, this is lame. I'm tuning out. But if you just give me a second, I'll be right back. Right? Ah, I get in your way and it probably goes out of focus on the camera. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Remember, get your merch and your Paint With Josh sweaters and hats if you want to support us. Uh, in my Etsy store, paintwithjosh.etsy.com. All right, now you can, uh, you can fluff your sun a little bit, just like that, kind of up and down, back and forth, just so it's a little soft. All you got to do, I mean, I really didn't even touch the canvas. There's no paint on the brush. Maybe in my mind, it just helps me like that. Okay, now we're going to use two fan brushes. I use these Gap Doctor fan brushes. They're nice, you know, hog hair fan brushes. It's a size 14, a size 12. I like to use one for shadows and one for light areas, right? So we need to make some shadows. Let's get a little bit of our red and our yellow ochre and kind of mix those because I don't want to go darkest shadows right into the brightest area, right? We want to start with our brighter colors and work darker. So we're going to take that color just like that. Come knock the camera over again. Maybe come up into here. Who knows? All around the sun, around that bright area. Right? And you can see how the red stands out away from the red that we've already blended. And it really stands out against that yellow. Look at that. Pop those guys in. Just like that. Come back with our one inch brush. Nice and clean and dry. Oh my Come goodness. Start to mix. What happened? You got some butterflies. Hey! Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I, I was. Butterflies. Writing, writing down numbers. Excellent. Tabby, thank you so much. Hey guys, if you could give our top, well, yeah, I mean, including me, if you could give our top gifters a follow real quick, that would be Tabby190469 and the London Candle Co. I mean, that's me, but yeah, I'd appreciate <laughs> the follow nonetheless. Um, if you are, if you are interested in candles, because uh, who isn't? I make uh, all natural soy coconut wax candles with hemp wicks. I have about 18 to 20 cents currently listed in my Etsy store. I go live Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and you can choose the color that you want in your candle during my lives. Josh for your eyes, London for your nose. Sniff me, I'm out. Sniff me! <laughs> 
Yeah, London, our house smells so amazing because of all the candles that London makes for everybody who supported us. We love you guys. We very much appreciate it. And we were able to pay our rent because of how many candles London sold. So uh, keep buying candles. We love that. Oh, I just got a sale too from Abigail today this morning. Thank you for buying my seascape. One of my seascapes. Okay, we're going to take this. Bam, 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 just like that, right? Does that look good on camera, babe? It does, babe. You didn't even look. That's you weren't even looking. She just said it does. Boom, come up here like this and just light up those bright areas, right? Maybe in here where the sun might have come down and kissed along that pinky spot. Leave a little bit of space in between. That way they can grow down, right? If you are interested in entering the waffle for $5, you can head over to paintwithjosh.com. I'm currently writing down names. That means that I will get up and leave at some point and run downstairs so I can print all the names and cut them all out. So if you are interested, then please go ahead. Uh, Mark Anderson, thank you so much for uh, modding over in the Facebook group. Hey. I just want to give a quick shout out. I really appreciate it. I do have three different lives going that I moderate on the floor sitting behind the camera. <laughs> Um, and so any help, if you see a question and you know the answer, yes, like, is it acrylic, is it oil, if you know the answer, please hit that reply button and help each other out to, to get as much information as you can. I really yeah, appreciate we, all your help. We cannot get to everybody like we used to be able to when we only had 4,000 followers and we used to be able to get to every comment and every response and every reply. We have too many followers now to, to, to physically do it. And it bums me out because I love responding. But now I just have to, like, I can't. I just have to live my life. It just takes up too much time. So, if anybody who can help us out over on Facebook, I have a lot of super squatters over on Facebook that constantly watch everything that we do. And if you guys know the answer to one of these questions that someone's asking, please help us out and uh, answer that. Post my links, share them, send them to my YouTube page, to my Etsy store, or to my Facebook page, whatever platform you're on. If you know the answer, help us out. That'd be fantastic. Let's take a little bit of our white, just like that, and go up here. Who knows? I love doing these little, like, eyeball sort of looking skies. I saw one the other day. I took a picture of it, and I was like, see, it's not just, we don't just do fantasy scapes around here. This is legit. Take our one-inch brush again. We haven't washed it. We haven't beat the devil out. We haven't done anything. We just keep dabbing it off on a paper towel to knock any loose paint off, right? And then we'll come up here, and we'll take it, and we're just going to go a little mix and little sideways, a little here, a little there. Just to have a little touch of difference up there, right? Very cool. Very cool, right? It's going to be so bright up here that the, you're really not going to see a lot of shadowing. And you don't have to have a shadow under every single cloud. That's not what it's about. Why don't we take a little bit of our red, a little bit of our white over here. We'll make this little pink color. Ooh, that was a lot of red. Look at how much, look at how pink that's getting. We're going to have to clean that up now. Okay, take a little bit of our pink like this, come out into that darker area, right? Maybe it was part of here. Maybe it had something, some sort of something, right? It doesn't have to look like anything until you start mixing it down, and then it's going to start to look like a cloud. Thank you so much for these but I think they're butterflies. Are they butterflies? I think so. They're beautiful. I never get to see what they look like I on know. TikTok. They're I'm so always on the other though. side of the screen. Yes, they are butterflies. I was right. Oh, they're gorgeous. They are stunning. Thank you so gorgeous. much. Thank you for if the you gifts. If you are going to send a big gift, by the way, please write in the comments so that I can start screen recording. So oh, those are can, cool. We can post it and tag it on the Paint With Josh. Like a big whale? We had a big Any, whale on TikTok anything, one time? Anything like above 100 coins, if you're going to send it please let me acknowledge you in the comments prior to sending it so we can screen record it um and and mention you on josh's page i'm gonna take a little bit of white just to brighten it up i still want a little bit of that pinky color in here but just to brighten it up listen to that sound little asmr palette knife and palette right. for you this morning little scrape and we'll put grandma in back here all the way across this time. There was a little beautiful contrail outside when I was in the garage. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, that's lovely right there. See, she knew. She knew I wouldn't forget today. 100%. Okay. Now, again, we don't need a whole lot of shadowing. I really like that over there. So let's go into our mountain section, right? Do we have any more comments about where people are from, or are they just uh, so far away? Like, 
the comments, I mean. Matthew over on YouTube, Facebook, I'm sorry, says, how do you dispose of your mineral spirits? So we, I use a bin of, uh, since we have cats, when I go to change the cat tray, it goes into there, and then, uh, you know, it's easily disposable. I want to say thank you for the 500 stars from Maddie over on Facebook. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you, Maddie. You are amazing. Stars are just like gifts or just like super stickers on YouTube. Everyone's got a different name for it, right? Like you send coins and gifts and stuff on on uh, TikTok, and then you send stars on Facebook, or you can send super stickers or super thanks on YouTube. Everyone's got to be different so they can stand out. It's kind of annoying, actually. For anyone interested, Josh does have full-length tutorials over on YouTube. My voice is only here one time a week. For the if live my shows. voice annoys you, I am sorry. Josh does do music lives during the week. Uh, I think he's going to do them... Um, Full time, to be honest with it, because it's working out really well in yeah. his favor. It's and it's super so relaxing. So it's super relaxing. So 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you will get Josh silent, some music in the background while he paints something beautiful. And you'll just hear click clacks and brush strokes. Yep, and, and then, then when he cleans music. his brushes, it, it sounds like butterflies in the in the bin. Yeah. It's beautiful. Maybe that's why someone sent the butterflies. Ready to hear Maybe. the butterflies? Yeah, here, here we, we go. go. All right, let's hear some butterflies. As they flutter out. So if you guys are interested in something relaxing that is less ASMR and more just more relax more and watch something beautiful, um, just to give you some idea, Josh and I have been married now for uh, yeah, 10 12, years. Eight years? A long, well, long, long time. time. <laughs> and, uh, and last night he did one of his music lives. I had run up here, said something. Yeah ran downstairs, turned the live back on, was watching the live, and it took me about eight minutes, and I was done. I was asleep. I, that wasn't even a music live. That was a talking so, live, and you fell asleep on us. Oh, well, that was So it was just as... That's oh, oh my hoping. goodness! What? What was it? Someone just sent a massive gift, and they didn't tell me oh, in the comments, no. and I didn't see it. It was a swan. Oh, cool. Oh my goodness. I'm going to screen right. record because... Just in case we get some more. Yes, okay, thank let's you do... so much for that swan. That swan was absolutely beautiful. Let's I'm now here. screen recording, so anything you send will be screen recorded. But please, if you're going to send a huge gift, please, please, please let us know in the comments so that I can, yeah, they... I can screen record. And anybody who doesn't know what the heck we're talking about, on TikTok, when you send GIFs, they come in the form of like video graphics on your screen, different things. And some things are really crazy and they're really expensive. And so that's what London's talking about. If the people are going to send the GIFs, at least let us know ahead of time so we can get it recorded. And then we can put it out so everyone else can oh see it. Oh my goodness! What is it? You got a pearl! A, a pearl? Oh, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, Nicole just sent a pearl. Oh, I saw it. That's wicked. Oh my goodness, Nicole. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, let's go that in. That swan was stunning. Thank you so much. I'm screen recording now. So anybody that wants to send anything, I'm screen recording so we can chop it up and make videos and give you guys a shout out on the Paint With Josh page. Thank you so much for all the gifts. We really appreciate it. There's another one. It's a paper crane. <laughs> I love those paper cranes. I'm sorry. Carry on, babe. We're here for your painting. Are we sure? Are we no, here for the video no. gifts that no one else can see? But I love the gifts. I just love I the gifts. I can't even see them. I know. I know. But the gifts are beautiful. All right, let's go into our dark paint. We're going to make a faraway mountain. We're going to scrape it up just like this. Bam, right? Get, get a giant amount. All right, what are you, what's going on? Nothing's going on, babe. Oh, Worry yeah. about yourself. I'm trying to. Worry about yourself. Trying to do it. Tiny dining in the house. I'm sorry. Worry about yourself. I love the gifts. I love the gifts. I'm sorry. 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 Okay, we're going to come up here. We're going to go like this. Uh, I love the gifts, too. Don't get me wrong. No, I know. Come up and just make a gigantic almighty mountain right up in here. Right? It doesn't have to be the straightest thing. I don't ever like it to be super straight. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to come down right underneath those clouds, help push them back. And then come onto this side. Don't have it be straight. Have a it be Amy all says, up. I was watching on Facebook, but flipped over to see the GIFs. Oh, on TikTok? Yeah, the GIFs are fantastic. I don't know they why. They are really cool. Just, I, I mean, talk about... 
If they did it on other platforms, I think people would send more on well, other platforms. So on Facebook now, when you send stars, it's a little animated star thing that's like flashing oh, and really? stuff. So they're they're trying to get there, I think. They're trying to get there. But TikTok has all the coolest stuff. I was watching one this morning where someone sent a Capricorn and they're like ten thousand coins. Oh jeez. Yeah, that's it crazy. Was, uh, yeah, it was ridiculous, and the, the host was crying. It was great. <laughs> I would be, too. Okay, yeah, too. let's take a little bit of our dry... Let's take a little bit. Right? Okay, we're going to take a dry a dry one... In, let's do that again. Hang on. Okay, redo. We're going to take a dry one-inch brush, and we're going to come up here, and we're going to just start to decide what our mountain looks like. We're going to shape it, right? Maybe it came down. Maybe this guy was a little straight, and then he came down to the side. Right? It doesn't all have to be the same directional poles... This guy flowed out this way, or it popped down and then came out this way, right? What do you want yours to look like? Maybe it came down in front, and there was a whole other little section back there. All depends. And then we can take and highlight and shadow and really make it look 3D, right? Very flat, off to the sides. Don't need to do much else than that. We're going to make up a little bit. We already have that pinkish, whitish. Maybe we can use that as our highlights. I don't want it to be too pink, though. So make sure it's kind of really white. A little bit of pink in there. That'll be perfect as we cover up the paint with Josh logo. And then we'll go over here to our blue. And like that, have we got any more? No, not yet. No? All right. Why did we do that right there? You guys could tap and share the live. Drop us a comment. All those things protect the live. And uh, we really appreciate it. It's not about sending the gifts. They're just super cool. They are cool. All right, a little bit of our blue, a little bit of our white. Mystical Witch is in the house. Mystical Witch, your candles are ready, so anytime you feel like coming over to the house, please do so. Okay, a little bit of blue, a little bit of our dark purpley mixture, and makes it that little grayish color. And let's say, since the sun is over there, all of our shadowy bits are going to be onto this side. Just like that. Leaving little areas of darkness and area for our light to be there as well. And all of a sudden you got a really cool little 3D mountain. I take our white, scrape it up just like that, and come back into here. Go over our shadows just the littlest bit. And then you can start your little directional pulls. Amy, I mean, we do not have a PO box, but if you send us a message on Facebook, we will happily send you our address. Yeah, Josh I have a, a my work is, address is a secure building. Yeah, so. Josh is Josh is not that big yet where we need a P.O. box, and we're kind of afraid of what people would send us. Yeah. But um, soon, as that. soon as Josh gets to 100,000 followers on TikTok, we will get a P.O. box, because we do get asked that question a lot. Hey, I have this, I want to send it to you. Cool, send it over. Send it to give them, to give them my work address, it's a secure building. I will, just shoot a message over on Facebook, Amy, and Josh will respond with the address. Just like that, a little bit more white, a little bit more blue, because I want to fill in this last little section. And remember, you have to mix it up well enough. Right? Just with the corner of the knife, sliding it down. Oh, it's gorgeous. Right? Take some of that white and go back over that blue, just so it looks like the sun is just creeping, just sparkling. A little, couple little bits got hit, lit up over there. Oh, it's lovely. You see how 3D that looks? That's what you want your mountain to look like. <laughs> Someone said, I blinked and there was a mountain. Nah, you can't blink around here. Watch out. Okay, you can even go back and take some of your dark color. Every so often, just let it fall off. Random places, and you get these really dark rocks. And that were maybe too sharp or too exposed for the snow to cover them all, right? Really cool. You can even do it on the front. These little dark areas, just to darken them up a little bit. Little deep, 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 deep shadows. Right, where the sun just really has struggle to get there. Perfect. Take our little brush just like this. Come up and knock these cameras over. Come from the side and swipe upwards. Don't worry about what happens down here. Right, we can fix anything that you drop down here can be fixed. Don't go above your line and very softly with those same angles, just, just touching, just Barely, so soft, like you're touching a baby's face with the brush, like so, so soft, just like you're trying to tickle their cheek with the brush, that's how soft you're trying to touch. 
Just for anyone wondering, Josh does have a YouTube over 300 free tutorials. He does also have a subscription service over on YouTube for more in-depth classes. You can find him on YouTube under Paint with Josh. The link is also in his link tree in his bio. You can see, if anyone can see, we barely touched the canvas, right? Can you see? Yeah, babe. Yeah. Barely, with any amount of pressure, didn't barely get any paint on the brush. Now we're going to take the same two-inch brush, just like that. We're going to come in and start tapping, pushing out, following that same little angle that we were following before. And if we do that, you really start to build a mountain. Okay? Tap, 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 hold it down. Every time I'm tapping, you guys should be tapping on the screen. Especially if you're watching on Facebook or TikTok. We got some sneaker heads from Mystical Witch. Thank you so much. Awesome. And guys, again, if you can click that top button where it shows who's watching, right next to that is a list of people who have sent gifts. Please go ahead and give them a follow just for supporting us. It's really, really, really amazing that we can try and build a little community of everybody who loves to come here and watch artwork. I'm sorry, babe. Did anyone see that? No, what happened? The canvas fell out, but somehow didn't fall down. Oh, because weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. I guess. Oh, there we go. This painting shall now be known as Weeble Mountain. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come in here. We're gonna tap, 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 tap. Amy, thank you so much. I don't know why you keep apologizing, by the way, babe. What? You keep saying sorry. I don't know why you keep apologizing. Do I? Yeah. Every time I stop, you know, you're like, oh, sorry, sorry. And oh, it's because I, I don't know. It's been like a week since I've been here. It's, I don't want to interrupt you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. Bam. I right, told you, we're going to go over this so many times, it really doesn't make a difference what it looks like. It really makes little difference. Right, you can even continue on with our our little bit of mountain. Maybe a little thick screen. Lock and key. Right Caught that on screen recording. Thank you so much, Nicole. I think that was from Nicole. Oh, that's cool. Thank you for the gifts. We got a pink paper crane. Pink crane. Let's go. I'm going to grab up a little bit more of that blue, that same blue that we had back here, and just extend our little snowy hill a little bit further down. All right? Help Another it grow paper towards crane. us. A little of that bluer shadow maybe back in here. Also, when we make our little fog out of it, everything will have a little difference, right? Just like that, very cool. Take our two inch brush over to the side, very softly again. Not trying to ruin any details, not trying to do much of anything, right? And then back into that blue, as we start to tap it, it's gonna start to change give us just a little difference in color right in here. Maybe there's a little soft bit of fog, a little something, some cold bit on this warm winter day, right? Fantastic. You have all this mystery about what's going on back here. It's really cool. Can't really tell where the bottom of the mountain is. Where does it start? Where does it stop? <laughs> Very neat. It's called a paper crane, but it's a digital crane. It's a digital paper crane. It's not <laughs> a real paper crane. I have no proof. But for anyone who is wondering why I love the paper crane so much, one of my favorite TV shows is Prison Break. And during that show, that is how he sends messages to Sarah Tancredi, the nurse from the prison, <laughs> is he sends little paper cranes with notes inside them. So uh, that's why I love the paper cranes. It's it reminds me of her favorite show. It does. I love it. You never have to be oh my goodness. dissatisfied with what you have. Babe, it's a hedgehog. There was nice. a hedgehog with a butterfly <laughs> on his nose. I'm just going to stop painting. I'm and sorry. Then, it's fine. I'm sorry. That's fine. I'm going to stop sorry. painting, and you guys send the gifts, and I'll just stand here <laughs> so I can see them. It's Henry the Hedgehog. That was the cutest thing I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. I didn't even know that was a gift. It's like, it's, it's, it's I'm funny. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Well, I don't know why you keep apologizing. You, you're making I'm it seem like I'm... No, but I'm screen recording, so right. you can see all of these. But you're I making go. it seem like I'm angry that we're getting gifts. Like, I, I'm not mad that we're getting no, I, gifts. I know. I'm just, I'm sorry that you can't see him. Henry the Hedgehog was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Hmm. <sighs> hey, look, butterflies. Oh, you missed them. Oh, shoot. I never get to see them. 
<laughs> I'm always turned around the wrong way. At least that'll be a good mountain section. It's mm. a beautiful mountain. Alright. So we're going to scrape up this area, clean it up, maybe put that blue up there. Get this pinky color over here, because we might use it again. <laughs> Dwayne says she's very apologetic. Yeah, right? I, <laughs> I'm not... You apologize when you're in trouble. You're not in trouble for reading the comments and, and saying that we have thingies. That you're making me feel like I'm acting like I'm mad at you, and I'm not mad at you. Well, that's good. Welcome to the dynamic of our marriage, everybody. Please tune in at 9 a.m. on a Saturday to see the dynamic of our marriage. There we go. Gorgeous. Okay, let's mix up a lot of dark color because we're going to start using a lot of this black, crimson, and blue in order to make some faraway trees, right? And depending on how much white you add to this mixture, you can make them look really far away or you can make them look really close. So to make these guys look just a little further away, we're going to sneak a little bit of that white in there. Not a whole lot because you can't go back. Once it's mixed in, you can't go back. That white will always be in there. Okay, just like that. We got some flowers. What's that? More foot? Right. I, I can't see them! They don't hang out for very long. That's not fair. I know. That's not fair. Like, at least put them on the screen for 10 seconds so I can. There we see go, flowers. Them. Look, babe. Oh, I see. Very cool. Flowers. Very cool. Alright, now we've gone into our dark color onto our small little fan brush. This is a size 8, which is small for me. I use the big 14 a lot, so. We're going to come in, knock the camera over, or, well, you know, boom, just like that, and come in here, and just maybe off in the distance, these guys were just small out here, right? Very small little trees out here. Maybe I'll leave an opening so we can put a bigger guy. All right, go back, get more paint, because it starts to look funny when your brush uh, splits apart. It's going to start to look funky. And I like them when they're nice and sharp, especially like that. you got to leave a, a little bit of paint on the canvas so it will have a sharp tip top to it, right? Very cool. Now we'll come back in here and make our little guy out there in the forest. He's got a little bit more detail than anybody else. Moves out here, looks over all the little critters, keeps him safe. Big old boss daddy tree out there in the forest, right? Very cool. These a little bit darker. And we don't have to go all the way to the edges because we're gonna. Oh, I thought you were, thought you were trying to get my attention. No, I was tapping my nail with a pencil. I've been drawing lips and noses on my piece of paper, waiting for more people to buy tickets. And tickets! Then, and then I'm gonna run downstairs and do some printing for the, awesome. for the waffle. Yeah, remember, we're giving away a virtual class. Virtual class. $250 worth. Of one on one Joshness. That's what I would normally charge if uh, if you didn't win the raffle, the waffle, the waffle house. There we go. Cool little things, right? A couple do, little trees out there. You do get lower rates, by the way, if you are currently a subscriber to one of Josh's platforms. True. If you're a Super Squad member, you get a much lower rate than everybody else because you pay for the channel every month. Here we go. Just like that. Swiping up very softly, especially over our big guys. We don't want to ruin all the detail that we had in there, right? Gotta get a phone charger. Bang, 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 burn, burn, burn. Just like that. Now we need to go down as well. So let's get a little bit of that color onto our brush. Just by tapping it in. And maybe back here, we we'll start to pull down. Little bits, only to help that color extend, right? And then we'll have this far off little foresty trees. Just by swiping over nice and lightly with a clean, dry brush. I right? don't want to have too much color on there. A nice clean dry brush. Throw it off like that. Very cool. You know what we need to do though? These guys got to come down a bit further as we come towards us. And that way they look like. There we go. They look like they're kind of growing. They're they're getting taller as they get over here. Very neat. Soft little gray, watery reflection. Very cool. Now we need to scrape up that whole pile and really make up a whole lot more. It's paintwithjosh.com, by the way, and it's the first thing on the website. Paintwithjosh.com, the top item right there. 
Get yours now, and we're doing the drawing at the end of the show. At the end of the show. It's the end of the show, as we know it. <laughs> Let's take a little bit of white, just to brighten up our little foggy area in here, right? Just to give a little bit more mystery. We just tap that white in there. A little bit higher sometimes, a little bit lower, a little bit higher, a little bit lower. Just let it mix in, right? And all of a sudden you can't really tell where the base of it is or what's happening until we start to add just a little bit of land coming in there. Just like that, right? Small little thing. It's very far away. Very far away. And we take our white, go along the edge, little bits. Doesn't need to be perfect. Don't want to have a whole lot of detail out there. That's really it. Just like that. Now, where's a brush that I can actually use? It's not completely covered in paint. There we go. Very cool. Trying to leave a little bit of lighter area down here so the water isn't all the same. Very neat. We can even do, I wonder what it would look like if we added just some white. Add some white to that water and just blend it out so it becomes a little bit lighter. Oh yeah, that looks a little bit better. And add in a couple little bits of our trees, just tip tops. We had too much dark on the canvas back there, that was our issue. Hold it down, swipe it over very lightly. That way we just get a few, few little reflections over there. I'm going to write them out by hand. Oh, okay. I'm too lazy to go downstairs. Too lazy to go downstairs. Okay, now we're going to come in with a few little trees. Why don't we start over here on this side, right? Glob up a whole bunch onto our brush, and maybe we'll come in. We'll do this further, furthest one over here to the side first, right? Come over there. Now, why don't we do, we'll do a little, we'll do a downward sagger, like Bob Ross's old saggy trees, right? Come down like that, just like this, with just the corner, and you start tapping, and then you start working it back and forth. Back and forth, and the more that you tap, the more it's going to start to look like little tree branches sticking out, right? Make sure it's nice and filled in. Every so often you pop out, you work in this little Z shape down, like that, you know what I mean? But you can't leave it like that. I see a lot of trees that look like that in the groups and stuff. You can't leave it all misshapen like that. You have to have it nice and dark and filled in. Good, fat, full little tree over there. All right? It looks sad. Oh, my looks goodness. Sad. I, I was too busy screen recording. We oh, got, what happened? We got two super stickers. Hey, on, on, YouTube. over on YouTube? Heck yeah. yeah. Thank Love you, you guys so on much. YouTube. YouTube John is Krasniak is Jay, watching. Whoa, did you even talk? I was just thinking about John Me Krasniak too. the other day. Me too. That's funny. I'm making candles again, John. So yeah, John and were. his Gorgeous wife, Laura. Yep, I have blueberry cheesecake. It Ooh. is known as bonkers for berries in my Etsy store. It's really nice, too. And I know that you guys were a fan of the blueberry smells that I used to make. It is really nice. All right. Let's do one little guy over here, too. Maybe he got, like, stepped on. Pop him over there. Again, we're just popping up with the brush, the smallest little bit. And as it pops out, it'll leave little branches. Right? And again, this is just a shadowy base of the, the tree. I always tell myself, I'm like, oh, this doesn't look great right now. And uh, what, maybe I should change it. Maybe I should add more paint. Maybe I should do this. Remember, this is not the full shape of the tree yet. It's not the full thing. Because we're going to go back and highlight it, and that's when you create all the depths. Remember when we did the mountain, and it looked kind of funky? And then once we started highlighting, we created the depth in the mountain. You do the same things with your trees. Let's go back over here too. Since we got the paint on the palette and we got the brush in our hands, swipe it up. Maybe we'll do one over here a little bit bigger. Straight down. Boom, oh, doesn't even have to be straight. I don't remember the last time I painted a straight line. All right, for this guy, since he's a little bit bigger, I'm just gonna use this brush on the top and then we're gonna switch to a bigger brush to fill up some more area. All right, just tapping outwards, getting a little bit brighter, a little bit bigger. Tap, tap, tap. All right. Just like that. You have these little branches that start coming out, right? Now this brush, it's going to be too too small to do what I want it to do as quickly as I want it to happen and as randomly as we want it to happen, right? So let's get a bigger brush. 
And we need to make up some more of that color. I told you we'd go through a lot of this color, making up this shadowy bit. We still have more to make, too. Got to do some bushes in the front. It'll be awesome, just like that. Okay, grab our big old dark fan brush. This is a size 12. The Gak Doctor. I have them in my Amazon store, which you can find in my link tree link, and that's in my bio on TikTok. Uh, it's on my Facebook page. It's on my videos on YouTube. You can go over and find the link tree, and that'll take you to all my places, right? Nice big globby. Look at Oh, it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's gross. And again, we're going to come with just the corner. See how my brush is tilted? It's not straight onto the canvas from the corner and then you start to push and it pops little things out right and then you come back in kind of feel in the side drop down a little bit pop another little section out fill in the middle drop down a little bit pop out another little section just by pushing we're pushing we're pushing we're pushing right? filling in the the middle area where that trunk would be that you wouldn't be able to see through anyway come back over here and get some more paint Tanya That's with the 200 stars on hey Facebook. Thank you so much. Mama Tanya, we got candles going out for you today. As soon as the postman gets here. There oh, yes. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Perfection, you guys. That's a great looking little tree. Because it's messy, right? And it's thick. And it's got all those little grippy little fingers that are out there waiting for some highlight color. All right. So we're going to wash off the old fan brush. See, I beat the devil out of the fan brushes the same as I do as the, the blender brushes, and these Gak Doctor fan brushes stand up to the beating, let me tell you. I wish I had stock in these brushes, and they're only $9.99, or like 10 bucks for like five of them. They're awesome. Whoever's making these is awesome. He needs to give us a deal. All right, let's go over here. We need to decide. We're going to have some bushes along the front. So where's our, where's our, our not our horizon, but where's our land live out here in the front, right? We can always decide. Let's do one more little tree, though. We've got the paint right here. Again, we've got the brushes. Might as well do it. And maybe over here, little guy. Again, he got stepped on as a, as a little baby tree by a moose, huh, babe? Yeah, babe. <laughs> you get those trees that kind of grow out. They're pushed by bigger trees. They don't get as much you know, water. There's not as much room to grow in there. And so he's like, ah, help. Help me. We'll do one over here just to fill up this area. Just like that. Again, popping upwards. Every so often, you back around, you go off to the side, you turn the brush around, you just fill it in. Fill in all the darkness, right? You can leave some areas show through, but especially down around the bottom, you really want to fill in those dark areas. It's got to stay dark down there. Gotta, gotta do it. All right, these guys over here, why don't we take, I'm just gonna kind of come down at an angle and that is now where our land is gonna be, which is gonna meet up with this guy over here, probably about right there. Right, and then you just decide what you want it to look like. We can add some bushes, we can add some different things, right? If we pull these guys back and just get rid of that paint and blend it softly. Right? The more we pull with all that dark paint, the more it's going to come out to the side, right? Same thing down here. We need to make the bottom of these just a little softer. So I'm going to pull them the smallest little bit. And you can see the difference in that paint, right? It's very thick to now it's getting thinner and thinner. That way it'll be easier to put our next little load of bushes on. Next little layer, right? If you keep loading and loading and loading all, all of this paint with, you know, layer upon layer upon layer, eventually it's not going to stick anymore. So you have to make it soft. That's why we miss the mountain and we miss the trees. And then we kind of almost miss the bottom down here. Just not as hard, right? Let's see. Let's wash some of these brushes off. Dave, what do people got to say? Uh, can you run through the colors that you're using? Yeah, we have uh, Van Dyke Brown, Dark Sienna, uh, Bright Red, Yellow Ochre, Cadmium Yellow, uh, phthalo blue, alizarin crimson, midnight black, and titanium white. We do have green on our on our cam our palette, but we're not going to use it. There we go. Does that answer your question? Yes. It sounded like Adam West. Does that answer your question? Okay. Got that. Clean off this brush. Again, tell us what time it is where you are right now. 
Cassandra is here. Cassandra! You sounded like Adam Sandler from Hotel Transylvania. Cassandra! Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I don't say blah, blah, blah. All right, clean off some of these brushes. We'll have some nice, clean utensils. And then we'll get racking and rolling. Figure out what else to do, where to put some bushes, right? Some bushes, kind of kiss. You have been... Mwah, love you. You have been live for 50 minutes, sir. 15 minutes? Man, we've done a lot yes. in 15 minutes. 50 minutes. Holy cow, 15. Cassandra says, that's how my grandmother sends, says my name. Cassandra! <laughs> that's funny. Okay, 15 minutes we've been going. That's a wicked painting for 15 minutes. Let me tell you. 50, five, zero. I keep hearing you, 15, I heard five, the first zero. time. Okay, let's mix up some more of that dark color. And then we're gonna save it off to the side, right? And we'll highlight some of these trees and stuff. And then we can decide what we're gonna do with all that darkness. Now, we need to get a little bit of our white, a little touch of our blue, just the smallest bit. We'll put it down here again. And these are gonna be our highlights for our, our shadows. All right, and then we'll make, I don't know, let's make up this pinky color. Oh, there's a lot of blue in that. Let's use this over here. And this will be our shadowy color, and then we'll make up like a nice bright pink color for our highlights. So grab up some white, a little bit of crimson. That should be enough. We'll put them right down here. That crimson is so powerful, it wants to take over your, uh, your white. So don't grab too much. Don't grab too much. Mark Anderson says 5.50 p.m. He's waiting for his Chinese takeout to arrive. Oh, that's cool. 11.50 from Kathy. Uh, going to paint this week. Weekend awesome. and enjoy myself. Love your bright colors. Thank you so much. What else go good? through that shadowy bit with some liquid white. We got 12.50 in Florida. That's awesome. I can't believe we've been going for... Josh has the best lives on YouTube. That's excellent. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, let's take our shadowy side, right, which is going to be different on each side because the sun, I would imagine, is going to light up these guys more than it's going to light up those guys, right? So let's go on to the left side of our trees and just going to start dabbing up little things, right? We need very, very, very few bits of shadow on these trees. Don't need a whole lot, right, over here. Just on the left side, and this is going to give us some depth, okay? Got to have shadows in order to show light, so there has to be some areas that are dark, or darker anyway. Now, on this guy, I'm going to tap down, following that Z pattern again, not trying to cover all of the branches, right? You got to have some of the areas in the shadows. Just like that, right? Very cool. Now, we're going to wipe off all that blue paint. I don't want it to mix in with our pretty pink paint, babe. Pretty pink paint, babe. Let's not forget about the waffle. Yeah, the waffle's really important. You guys have about seven more minutes to enter the waffle. Um, I meant like the last time we forgot to do it. Yeah, right? <laughs> that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. All right, so let's get a little bit of that whitish, pinkish paint. And now we're going to go on the right side of the trees. And just little dabs up. And then you sent the wrong prize. Yeah, right, sent the wrong size to Linda. I don't know what I was thinking. There we go. Little dabs. Doesn't have to be beautiful, uh, yeah, perfect, crazy. A right, couple little things. The snow, the light's gonna hit everything differently, right? It's never just a perfect little thing. So, don't make your trees perfect. They don't have to be perfect, look at that. Some areas got lit up, some didn't. Some are in that blue shadow, right? Come back over here, grab up some more of that little pinky color. Turn our brush the other way now. And just start to light up our side over here. These old, saggy Bob Ross branches. Babe. That's what they are. I know, but it's... There we go. Just like that. Nice, full, thick-looking tree. Very cool. All right, let's get some more of the liquid white. And why don't we do our pink side over here first, since we got that color on the brush. More liquid white into our pinky color, that light color. Maybe the shadows for these guys are going to be on the right, so we'll put our highlights on the left. All right, pop it out, a few little things, just tap it up. It is 10.52 in Idaho. Hey, that's cool. Little guys that pop out, right? Except I don't like 
that guy right there. Awesome snow on the trees. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. It's got mine. I stole it from Cassandra. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take my paper towel right here, just because we had too much liquid white right in there. I'm going to wipe it back towards the tree. Okay? Hey, Amy would like to know what you do with your paint on your palette when you are done with your painting. It sits and waits for the next time that we paint. Just like that. Go over that area that we messed up and you can't even tell. Uh, I, I know there are videos that you can freeze it or cover it in saran wrap or do different things, um, but my I, we paint so often around here that mine just waits until I'm ready to paint again. You know what I mean? All right. A little bit more of that liquid white and some of that pinky color in there. We'll get our last little guy over here. We come up and just tap little bits. I'm barely just using the corner, right? The more you push, the more it's gonna be like a thick, gross branch. So just use the corner, just the small little things, right? Maybe our shadows will fill in the whole rest of that area. So I'll grab that liquid white again, come over to our blue. You gotta have differences, right? And it's not a super deep dark blue, it's a very bright blue, so it's almost white. And that's why it helps our eyeballs see light and dark on these trees, right? Come up here, tap the side, just so lightly, I'm not trying to cover those light areas, and I don't try to I'm trying to cover up all the dark area either, right? Just as we go down, little flicks here, there, everywhere. Darkness in between them. Just like that, man. That's a cool little tree. I can't think of another way to teach you guys how to do it easier besides this. Like, we're just flipping with the brush, making little, like, V shapes, little upside down triangles, like little cups, right? <laughs> That's all we're really making. That's the shape that we're using. And the more you push in, the bigger your branch gets. So be very, very, very light-handed when you do it. Again, like you're just trying to touch a baby's cheek while it's asleep, so you don't wake it, right? Just so lightly. So, so, so light. Do we have any more comments about where people were watching from then? Uh, uno momento. Or did we read? Did we go through those already? I can't even remember. We did. Oh, okay. Well, I know we did it through the first time. I didn't know yep. we did it a second time. It's 7.52 in Bury, Lancaster. Ooh, Lancaster. I don't know what that accent was. That was really bad. It was a bit like your Cassandra. That's a great... Blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> it is also 12.51 in Ohio. Cassandra, I want you to buy this painting. <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> We're a big fan of Disney movies here. Yeah, right. Uh, really good. Oh, it is also, uh, it is also 1752 in uh, Lancashire in England as oh, well. Oh, cool. So All right. We've got a couple of individuals watching from England. Has any of those individuals ever seen a giant bush-making brush as big as this one? This is the Bob Ross... The foliage brush, it's the big one, right? They make a half round, and then this is the full round, and it's nice and gigantic. So it'll make uh, plant, uh, bushes very quickly, right? So I want to pull down some of this paint, and I'm going to tap it in like this. And that way it's all globby and gross, very thick. All right, and then when we come out here, it leaves very close-up, dark, thick bushes, right? That stand out as closer and anything else. Just a couple little dabs, that's all you need. Those little fingery bits, that's all we need. All we need are a couple little fingery bits. All right, we're gonna go back, we're gonna dab into more paint, and come over onto this side, Just popping out. Don't want, to don't want them to connect, I wanna leave some space in between them. All right, go back again, get more paint. You want it to be globby and thick. Got all those little fingers, right? Make sure it's dark down there in the corner. Very cool, very wild. Which is why we do those, again, first. All right, let's wash off this gigantic brush because this thing is humongous. And it's way too big to highlight with, for me anyway. So we're gonna wash that off and put it back. Terry White says, is it bad to have texture on your paintings or am I just using too much paint? No, I like having texture. Like when I was a beginner, mine were like, you know, text, it was like half an inch of texture. I had like globs of paint hanging off the canvas, right? Nowadays, I found that you can get the textured look 
and not have it be so thick. Like these ones, there's a couple areas that are sticking off, but you know, you'll find that that happy medium where you know you'll be able to tell how much thickness you need. And the more and more and more you paint, the thinner your your paints will be, the more, the less texture you'll have. Even though it looks like there's a lot, there's there's I mean, there's a little, there's a couple little bits, but definitely not like when I was a beginner, that was for sure. Okay, let's take this guy. Lorraine says, if we were to send you a painting, I'm assuming digitally through Facebook or something, could you tell us how to fix it or make it better? Yeah, if you sent a photo, I could definitely critique and, uh, and do, we do that for our, our Super Squad members all the time. They send in, you know, things that they've done, little tutorials different little bits and um, ask, how can I improve this? How can I do this better? So we get to the super squad before we get to anybody else. Um, so if you want answers more quickly, that's the best way to do it. They pop up first in my, in my feed. So to become a super squad member, go over to youtube.com slash paintwithjosh slash join and join the channel over there for $7.99 a month. Irene Morrison just sent 99 stars on Facebook. Hey, Irene, thank you so much. We're going to take that liquid white into our, our whitish, pinkish paint. Come up here just so lightly over that blue and gray, but we're not trying to cover it all, right? Don't want to cover everything. Again, in between that blue and pink area, that might have been a little, a little brightness, just a little bit. And then we'll leave those shadows back in there, right? Need to get some more liquid white out of the thing, I would imagine. Okay, we're gonna come over back over here, grab up some of that blue. And maybe back here in the corners, building our bushes one at a time, right? Got our bush back there. We'll leave a little bit of space. Maybe there was another little bit of bush back in here. Right? And again, leaving space for our, our highlights to fill in. Gotta leave the space. Gotta leave the space, babe. Right? Yeah, babe. Sorry, I was, I was invested in comments. There we go. A couple little things, little dabs here and there, everywhere. Get a few little bright areas, a few little dark areas. Very cool. Okay, let's take our one inch brush now and make it actually look good. Just start to pull and pull and pull. That, that little backward angle, right? We go over here. Same thing. We're gonna start down, and then the further and further we go back, the more we're gonna pull out, just like that. Very cool, take all those dark colors, mix them together. Bang, 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 bang. Very neat, now it looks like we have a little walkway down to the side, right? Down to the water. What do you think, babe? I think it looks lovely. I think everybody should start coming up with a name for this one. Yeah. And typing the names in the comments section of all the platforms you're watching on, on YouTube, on Facebook, on TikTok. Type in all the names that you want to name this painting. Yeah, a little bit of white, a little bit of brightness out there. Gorgeous. And now uh, we're going to choose one of the names that you guys pick. So, fantastic. All right. Write your name suggestions in the comments below. We're going to take this brush since it's already got some paint on it. Just grab our white like that. Again, work it back into the bushes. It looks more natural if you go back that way, right? Leaving that little area. Come back on this side. Same thing. Don't really want the white areas to touch too much. Dave bing, bang, boom. Give scissors up here. I do. Uh, here. I do, I do, I do. And there you go. See, and again, right here, we'll go back into the bush. Just like that. This helps it seem more natural to me. To me, anyway. Right, line those little things up. Don't want to have everything perfect. It looks fantastic just like that. Just like that. Now, what we need to do is first sign this old guy. And then we'll add the birds and then we'll do the waffle. There we go. And this brush is like so teeny tiny. I've taken it and modified it several, several times to where it's just a small, I mean, look at this. Just the smallest little fan brush you've ever, uh, fan brush, little liner brush you've ever seen because I've taken it and cut all the bristles out just to leave these ones that were just in the center. All the other ones start, as, they, as soon as they start to fray, I just snip them right off. All right, let's go in. We're going to enter our, our cleaner, our low odor mineral spirits right here on our 
palette, you see how runny it is? It wants to drip down. That's what you want it to be like. And that way it comes off easily on your brush. It comes off your brush anyway. Grab up our old mall stick, and we'll put the family in right here today. Let's come over. There we go. Just like that. These birds represent myself, my wife, and our gorgeous daughter. Cassandra got their painting. Excellent. These go into every single painting. 99.9% .9 of the paintings, anyway. Sometimes we forget, but most times they're in there. So what does Cassandra think of her painting that she got? Uh, give me one second. Hmm. John Krasniak says, I have 11 Paint With Josh paintings. That's true. <laughs> and there's only one other person. I don't know if he's here, Richard Barth. Uh, if Richard's here... He's given John Krasniak a run for his money because yeah. uh, he has purchased many, many, many paintings as well. We appreciate both of you guys. Like, it was so funny. I was literally thinking about John Krasniak the other day. Yeah, me literally too. Two days ago. I was driving yesterday thinking about him. I was like, I wonder if he still watches, if he's okay. Like, you know what I mean? He used to watch all the time, and then maybe it's because we get so many comments now that we don't see him, but, or if he wasn't watching. But I'm glad he's here because. Yeah, me too. He is a one of the original Paint with Josh super fans, that's for sure. Cassandra says, oh my god, I love it. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Um, it's going on her mantle. Oh, the one that she got? Yes. Which so, one was that again? So, I don't know which one she purchased. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know either. I can't remember. Um, just to let you know, out of everybody in the comments across all three platforms, there is a candle connoisseur among us, Nicole with her 20 candles. Yeah, right? Nicole has purchased more candles than anybody. Anybody else. That is true. Now, go over to The London Candle Co. As soon as we get done with this, go over to thelondoncandleco.etsy.com. What sale are you running today, baby? There's 50% off. 50%? If you use we code, must have lost our minds. If you use code TikTok. So, use code TikTok at checkout for 5% off candles, which brings them down to $9 and $12 each. You cannot get a good candle for $9, let me tell you. So, I go mean, over you to the... I but it's probably got paraffin in it, and they right. probably use a cotton wick, and ugh, it's gross. Yeah, and it's not as pretty and sparkly as London's candles are. They're the besties. So, go over to thelondoncandleco.etsy.com, and you can check out London's candle store. And uh, she's got about 20 cents... Yeah, our kitchen smells amazing. I have about 20 cents. Yes, I do have about 20 cents. Please buy more candles, because apparently I only have 20 she cents. She only has 20 cents, guys. <laughs> I have 20 different fragrances. Oh, fragrances. If you say it like that, it sounds fancier. So, it's 20 different fragrances. And uh, they're really cool. We've had plenty of people buy them off of TikTok. She's already got like 170 sales on Etsy, which took me like two years to get to. And she's done it in a month. Insane. Mm. Which, by the way, I'm star seller for January and on Ooh. track to be star seller for February. That's okay. Talk to me when you've been star seller for eight months in a row. That's fine. I won't, yeah. I won't struggle. I only had my Etsy store open two weeks before I know. I she's star seller. blasting. Like, yeah, star seller. It took me like two years to get star seller. And she did it so quickly. Okay. So, has everyone been coming up with names? Winter Calm. I'm assuming Nicole's talking about the candles. She said, Dragon's Breath is Burning. I'm going to assume Ooh, yeah. that's not the name. That, that might be a cool name. name for a painting. Dragon's Breath is Burning. I like that. Yeah, Dragon's Breath is one of my favorite scents that London has in her store, I, too. I'm going to tell the world so you can't back out. Okay, I'm going to tell the world right now. Uh, there is big news in our house today. Uh oh big news. Our 10-year-old wishes to go and get her ears pierced. Oh, Nelly! Don't worry, Bailey. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Ladies, can you tell Bailey, if you've had your ears pierced, that it, st it probably stings a little bit, but it probably goes away quickly, and it's not that bad. It does, and if she complains, then we'll give her up to right. the neighbors. And I'll be like, this is what you wanted. And then it's such a pain in the butt for like the first, I don't know, two weeks or however long you're changing it and washing it and cleaning it. it shows what you know. You don't change your what you are pierced with. You want three holes in each ear? What? Oh, I, I was going to say, that's eventually. a little... Uh, she said two eventually. That's a little right nuts. Now. now, look, as you guys can see, I've already taken the pleasure 
of filling in the majority of this painting oh, and you have. doing the research about which painting it is. It'll be number 640. So, what are we going to name this one? Hit me with some names. I'm waiting on some names, babe. We don't have any names. Guys, we need a name right here. Hit us with some names. Yeah, Wanda, I got Wanda name. says it throbs a little, that's it. Throbs a little? Yeah. Yeah, it only hurts for a little while, I would imagine. Uh, Cassandra got Majestic ward, uh, Royal Waterfall. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah, that's a great one. I'm jealous that you actually bought it because now I don't get to look at it. Yvonne anymore. says, that's a nice guy. Nice! Nice! John Evely's here, so. Hey, Jonathan! You guys are awesome, man. Frankie says, not bad at all. I'm going to assume that's not a title either. <laughs> oh, Mountain Mist, I see. Winter Sunrise, Ember Mountain. Yeah. Sugared Mountain Tops. Ooh. Should we give him a, let's give him a, just a second more to look at it while we... Why don't we do the raffle? The waffle? The waffle. And then in the, uh, in the interim of doing the waffle, people can come up with names and drop their suggestions okay. in. Okay, let's do the drawing. The waffle. The drawing for the virtual class. Are you guys ready? Do we have names? Yes. We need a hat? I have them in my hand. Hang on, I need to empty out all of these old names so there can be no confusion. Look at the... I mean, if you're an old school Paint with Josh fan, you had the Happy Little Landscapes, babe. That's what I used to be, Happy Little Landscapes, because that's what we painted. And then I was like, yeah, let's go be Paint with Josh, baby. So this is one of the camo hats. You can get my Paint with Josh hat in the camo uh, pattern if you wanted to. My friend uh, Scott just bought a camo. I got to check his order, by the way, see if it was delivered. Bought a camo hat with my UFO mountains babe, print on it. it. So. Oh, shoot. Wicked. What's up? The battery said low battery on. I wonder for how long. Yeah. Here. Okay, let's do the drawing, guys. So this is for a one-on-one -on -one class, two to three hours, which I normally charge two hundred and fifty dollars for. Now I'm not going to be looking. I got to hold it. Hang on, maybe I should get down here. Oh, I lost one. It's okay. Jessica's is going back into the hat. There we go. Okay, we're going to shake it up. I can't see. I'm going to put shake it on top it of my head. Shake it up. And we're going to go in here. Are you guys ready and watching? You don't, <laughs> you don't have to be present to win. I told somebody that the other day when they purchased their tickets. I can't see. I'm running out of air here. Right. It's, it's okay. We don't, I'm trying okay. to... I'm trying to drum roll. It's not working, is it? I'm trying to talk over your drum roll. So you don't have to be present to win, but it is more fun if they are here. Are we ready? Hit me with the drum roll, babe. I think I got one. If I can get one. Okay. I got one. Here we go. It is. No, that's two. Hang on. I got to go back. I got to go back. I'm going to drop them all out. This is hard with gloves on to figure out I when it's just one. I don't know why you one. kept your gloves on. Oh. Where'd that one go? Right there. Okay. Putting them all back in. Let's do this again for the 1900th time. Okay. Hopefully I have enough air left. There we go. Okay, that's one. We've got one. And this one person is... Annette. Annette. Serious? Annette yeah, look, Babcock one? Right there. That's what it says, Annette. Annette I don't know, Babcock. why Why did you make them so small? I just did. did, 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 did I just wrote it. There you it. go. Annette Babcock is the winner of the Paint With Josh one-on-one -on -one class. Excellent. Annette, I know you're here in one of the, in one of the channels. Well, just to prove we had other people... There's Jessica, what's this one, Chris, there's another Chris, Sheila, Nadine, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry, there's another, there's another Chris, what does that say? Greg. Oh, Greg, Greg, yeah, Greg. So, to prove there was other people in the hat, but... Lucky winner, Annette, you have one class. So send me a message and we'll set up a day and time where we can connect and okay, we need to hurry up because do the thing. Uh, okay. YouTube's gonna Alright, well let's name the painting guys. Give me another name. YouTube's what? I'm gonna unalive. Why? I can't I don't know, it's not charging. <sighs> okay, let's go. Annette won. She said, Oh my god, thanks! <laughs> You're welcome. I don't think that's what she sounds like, by the way. Oh. It was not a true impression of Annette. It kind of sounded like Kermie a little bit. I am only lucky with you, Josh. I won one of your paintings and now this. That's true. Okay, what are we going to name this painting, guys, before my, my devices, you know, run out of battery? What are we going to name this? Hit me with some names. 
Winter, Flash fire. Winter <laughs> Wonder, Sun Kiss Mountain, Candy Mountain. Oh, that makes that makes me think of Charlie the Unicorn. <laughs> Candy Mountain. Uh, Sugared Mountain Tops, Mountain Mist, Ember Mountain, Mountain Getaway, Mountain Sunrise, Winter Sunrise. Um, what else have we got here? I like Winter Wonder. Guys, drop your suggestions in for the titles. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, guys. Frosty Mountain. Frosty. Frosty the Snowman. Sweet Peak. Sweet Peak. I like that. Huh. Why is everyone thinking it's like candy-ish? I don't know. Um. Alright, I remember. I, I remember the one I like. Okay, who said Mountain Mist? Mountain Mist was suggested by Tater. Hey, Tater got it this time. Mountain Mist. Tater got it. Wicked. All right, well, guys, when you go to my Etsy store, search for Mountain Mist. And if you give me about a half hour, this one will be available for sale. And again, if you go into my Etsy store, there's a little search bar. Type in Mountain Mist or Sunset something, you know what I mean? And it'll, it'll eventually pop up. So it takes about a half hour for me to get the photos done. And, you know, Etsy takes a few minutes to process it once I've listed it, and then it'll hit my store. So... Go over to paintwithjosh.etsy.com, keep refreshing, and uh, eventually this one will be there. And with the sale, it's probably going to be uh, like $150. And then once... That includes shipping and everything uh, all the way to you with insurance and uh, tracking, all that stuff. So, out the door price. What were you going to say, babe? And then once we've done that, we are going to uh, go get Bailey's ears pierced. Yeah, I'm going to pick up dog poop. I can't wait for you guys to come back. You're not going to come with us? Mm, I, well, I got, there's, like, literally, I haven't picked up poop in so long, we have to really do it. It's going to take me a while. Oh, I figured you would have come with us. You know I don't like needles. I know, but just to, <laughs> just to watch her squirm. No, no, no. I'm sure she'll be, pr uh, she'll be brave. She'll be brave. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Well, uh, we want to thank you for tuning in and for watching and for supporting us and sending all the gifts. Those are really cool. Like if you just come in and just scrape in a few little sticks and twigs with this knife, it looks really neat. Especially when someone goes to look at it like for their details. Right into the dark areas. Put those little sticks back in there. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, but yeah, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, for sending the gifts, for tapping the screen, for watching the show, for sharing it to your grandma and your mom and your cousin and your aunt and your uncles and everybody else who is going to love Paint with Josh, right? Uh, even if you didn't think it was a cool show, share it around, and I'm sure one of your family members is going to be like, where did you find this guy? Thank you for sending him to me. He's so funny and handsome and charming. Oh, my goodness. So, and he's 182 pounds this morning, baby. Woo! Show! He's looking excellent over here. <laughs> okay, well, I love you guys, and uh, thank you, everybody, on TikTok. Thank you on Facebook. Thank you guys on YouTube. Make sure on YouTube, if you're still watching, make sure you, that little thumbs up is highly lit, right? You've clicked that thumbs up button. Like, like, like on Facebook and share. Send a link to your grandma, to your mom, to your aunt, to your uncles, to your friends, to your bestie. And uh, say, check out this guy. He does some really cool stuff, right? So, until we see you guys again next time, I want to say thank you for tuning in. And uh, I'll just hit my own buttons. Hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> I keep looking at London, and she's like watching the show. I, and was, I'm like, booking, All right. I was booking an Over appointment for first. ear piercings. My yeah. bad. Oh, you have to make an appointment? I just did. Oh, jeez. Yeah, now it's so for now reals. It's real. Like, oh, real no. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm okay. so excited for her. <laughs> All right, YouTube. We'll see you guys later. Have the rest of a good day. Ba-boom. I can't wait to see your version of this. Send it to me on Facebook. Hey.